what kind of country we're going to be. Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he is uh, going to find ourselves in a position where if, uh, if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world. Yes, so true. Donald Trump thinks health care is a privilege. Barack and I think it's a right for people that have bad health care. Free health care is why I came to this country. That's right. Buddy, you deserve it. Welcome to Kingswood Community Center. <coughs> Actually, that's the one down I used to work. It's a joke. You didn't know where we were anyway. <laughs> but please clarify, specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. Ha ha ha, that's his catchphrase. I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental, fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. Is anyone seriously voting for an 80 year old career politician who sold out our country for the last 30 years and can barely form a coherent sentence? Silence, big gun. Go by and will unite the country and save us from the orange man. I'll do what he's unable to do. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. You know, there's an expression. They always talk about the children. Yes, Joe. Let's talk about the children. They're all our children. Silence. That's a conspiracy theory. We can't have you spreading fake news. Now be quiet so Joe Biden can unite the country. That's why teachers are so critically important, because their future. There's no way this guy can win. Gentlemen, get to work. <laughs>